Hello everyone. Welcome to the day 15 of DevOps series. Today's session is about DevOps career path. In this session we will be talking about how you can kick start your career in DevOps and attain expertise in this field which will eventually land a great job with a good package. This video will clarify all your doubts regarding how to get started in DevOps. So without further ado, let's begin with the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. The agenda of today's topic is we'll be discussing about what is DevOps, why we need DevOps, what are the roles being played by a DevOps engineer, and what are the skill sets required by DevOps engineer? What are the do's and don'ts about DevOps and what are the takeaways from the session? So with that, let's get started with the introduction to DevOps. So these days DevOps is a buzzword and in the last couple of years you have heard about this DevOps very frequently. As you know that DevOps consists of two terms dev plus ops dev stands for development and ops stands for operations so where development team and operations teams working together as a single team rather than working in silos that makes a devops where you will be playing the role of a developer in case you are a automation engineer or you are a hardcore developer or a operation team member if you are working as a release manager or a release engineer or working in deployment and monitoring and infrastructure provisioning and configuration management so both teams are combined together to work as a single unit so this concept is not very old it's around a decade old when we had this devops concept comes into the existence before that both the teams development and operations teams were working in silos and there was a lot of communication gap between them then after this concept comes into existence both the teams started working as a single unit and they will be playing the role of a devops engineer devops is just not a role or it's not about people or processes or products it's about a culture so devops is basically when we say devops people think that i should be efficient in that particular tool i should be knowing that tool i should be knowing continuous integration i should be knowing monitoring i should be knowing release management on top of that you should be knowing about the whole devops framework its methodology and its concepts it's more about the organization culture it's not about a single team or a single person but how the organization itself playing the role of a devops engineer right everybody in its own role at some point of time they are using devops concept being it a developer or a tester or a release engineer everyone has to go through the devops process so it's not about a single team but the organization as a whole how you are behaving and what's the culture you are you are following in your company from the devops perspective now devops as i told you it mainly consists of two components developments plus operations so if you are and if you are a, an engineer or you are a, a developer you are most probably in the left hand side of this devops side as you can see in the diagram you will be playing the role of either a developer or automation engineer or you will be writing the code or you will be writing the test cases on the other hand side if you are from the operation side who is not building the code but who is actually maintaining the infrastructure configuring the environment monitoring the infrastructure deploying your code then you are a part of operations team and never less to say that these two teams are not working in silos but they are working as a single unit they are more collectively and working in an integrated manner so that you can deliver your product in a better way now the tasks that a devops engineer should play as i told you earlier you can be a system administrator as part of devops devops engineer so if you are from an infrastructure background and you are an linux administrator or windows administrator right so you can grow your career as a devops engineer as a system admin which will be working as an administrator of various tools and technologies like continuous integration tool like jenkins administrator or your servers management or your configuration of your servers so you can be an excellent system administrator or you will be 
creating a virtualization environment using your virtual box, your virtual machines like cloud computing and all this. You can configure your environment using virtualization concepts or you will be a good network engineer where you would be working on network and storage right and you can be a good database engineer if you are from that database background you can be a db administrator or you can be uh, performing all the database operations as part of devops engineer at the same time if you are from the testing background you are also have a very good scope in the devops team working as a, a writing your automation uh, of your test cases or test suits as part of your test engineer also if you are from a non technical background then you need not to worry that you don't think that you don't have any role in the devops to play you can play a role of a scrum master who will be coordinating between different teams between your developers your testers your release team or your other teams or all the stakeholders which are responsible for delivering the product so you can play the role of a scrum master apart from that you can play the role of a release engineer who's meant for deploying your code or creating the release management to uh, de deploy the code to your production environment and down the line you can grow your career as a release manager who will be coordinating between different teams and preparing the release plan and on top of that you can work as an sre site reliability engineer site reliability engineer is the person who is actually working or optimizing your processes like reducing the toil reducing the extra waste from your devops processes how you can optimize the process how can deliver your product in a better way so the sr is a person who think from production to development rather than the developers think from goes from development to production so there are a lot of roles to play in a single team based upon your skill sets you can grow your career in the respective field then the next is why we need devops engineers i just explained you a couple of roles you can play as part of devops engineer right and why you should be a devops engineer because there's a lot of demand in the market if you look at the kind of it industry the way it is the way it is being developed in the last few years it's completely changed we are following the agile methodology to deploy or develop our products unlike the traditional approach there are a lot of opportunities to grow your career as a devops engineer in the various respective roles which i just explained in the previous slide as there are a lot of opportunities there is a lot of demand around the market in the market and there are less number of devops engineer available in today's time so there's a huge opportunity for those who want to switch their career from other teams to devops and that's why there's a lot of good benefits and salary offered to those who are a very good devops engineer who are very well uh, versed with their roles in the devops team and a lot of companies hiring for those roles if you go to any site sinocry or any other job portal you will see and search for devops role you will see plenty of roles are or plenty of vacancies are open for this role which companies are hiring it's not only india it's across the globe if you look at a lot of openings a lot of positions are vacant like as you can see in the recent research indeed.com and glassdoor the data says that lot many options a lot many opportunities are there for this role right so you can grab this opportunity and you can avail this facility and you can grow your career and you can switch from your traditional steam to the devops role and that's the right time to switch your career steam if you also compare the salary figures of any other role with respect to the devops you will see a huge gap right the traditional engineer a developer or a tester where the average salary per month if you compare it with the devops engineer it's a huge huge gap the reason i have just quoted in the previous slides that there's a huge demand in the market just a quick info guys if you want to make a career in cloud and devops then intellipad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and devops by enict academy iit roorkee and it is taught by iit roorkee professors and industry experts this course is designed to upskill and land your dream job whereas there is a very less supply so you can take advantage of this opportunity and you can grow your career in this particular field it's not only devops but cloud computing is also relevant to this you cannot 
look on the cloud computing separate from DevOps. So you can enhance your skills from DevOps and plus cloud computing in Azure and AWS. And that's a very good combination all together along with DevOps plus cloud computing. Right. So that's an extra advantage that you can go ahead and along with your DevOps skills, you can work in the cloud computing and that will be an added advantage to your skill sets. Now, as I already explained, how many years of experience do you need to be a DevOps engineer, right? It's not only that there is a requirement for only experienced people, which are more than five to 10 years, but there is a lot of opportunities who are in the experience in the first five years of their career. If you have your career from zero to five years, right? So you can also grow your career as a DevOps engineer. If you are starting your career earlier, then you will be starting as a DevOps engineer. Or if you are in the down or the letter lateral entry or you are in the latter half of the year years of experience, say five to ten years, then you can be assigned any bigger role. You can be a team lead or you can be any senior DevOps engineer kind of role. Right. And this role is not only for service industry, but product companies are equally hiring for this role. This role is more compatible to the product companies who are having their own products. The reason is they are never going to be fire you or you don't feel that there will be any end for this team, specifically for the product companies, because as long as their products are going, they need DevOps engineer in their company. And unlike the projects, products will be everlasting. There is a limited end date for your projects, but your products keep on going. Your companies keep on developing the products. They are upgrading their products to the newer version, right? So that's the reason that product companies are having more compatibility to this role and the salaries are also higher if you are having a very good exposure in a product-based company rather than service-based company. It's not like that in service companies, you cannot get better salaries or you cannot get better roles, but comparatively product companies are more, I mean, uh, there's more scope in product companies to having a very good role offered and for a long longer duration. Because what happens in service companies, you are hired for a limited duration for a project. Once the project is over, you have to look for another project and so on. But in a product company, you will be working on the same product for a longer duration, right? So the role is open for both of the both kind of organizations, being it a service company or a product company. Now let's name few of the companies who are eagerly looking for these kind of roles. Dell, Wells Fargo, Oracle, IBM, Walmart, Adobe. These are all majorly uh, product companies, which I'm talking about. Apart from that, there are a lot of service companies like Infosys, TCS, HCL, Wipro, right? A lot of other service companies that are also having a very good opportunities for these kind of roles. And you name any company today, there's not even a single company who's not having DevOps team in their organization. So that is the must role or the must team that should be a centralized team in your company, the DevOps team. Every team should go through the DevOps processes at least once, being it a testing team or a development team or a release team. Every team will coordinate with the DevOps team. So you can say DevOps is the central team in any organization which is coordinating with all the stakeholders in the company. Then what does a DevOps engineer do, which I already touched upon that there are a lot of roles, right? If you look at any of the job descriptions and you can open any of the job description for any DevOps role, you will find some keywords like CI CD, continuous integration, continuous delivery, right? Jenkins, that's a continuous integration tool, continuous testing, right? REST, APIs, web services, Java, APIs, databases. So these are few keywords. Whenever a company look for a DevOps role, some keywords are being searched, right? Your release management or your configuration management or your automation, right? So these keywords, they search for, if you find these keywords in your resume, they can consider your profile relevant to that role. So this is how they search for the specific roles and they scan the resume and then they will shortlist it based upon the keywords. So there are certain buzzwords, right? So you will be guided by the IntelliPath team more into that, how to optimize your resume with the specific keywords to get a better job for that. So that's when you can reach out to their 
support team they will definitely guide you on that second example you can see that vmware company so these keywords are ansible terraform jenkins docker some companies looking for a very strong terraform role so if you have that keyword infrastructure provisioning configuration management terraform right so these kind of things if you have in your resume and if a company is looking for terraform they will search for these keywords and your resume might be shortlisted right if you are uh, from a developer background you can write automation python shell scripting powershell scripting so these kind of keywords will help you to get the desired role for this particular requirement or if the company is looking for some cloud requirement they can search for aws azure like that like similarly there's another example so these are the keywords majorly look looked upon by a company and so they will put the emphasis on these keywords as per their requirement now what are the skills needed as a DevOps engineer? So if you think that you are not from a technical background, how can I grow my career or switch my role from non-technical person to DevOps? I explained to you DevOps is not only meant for a technical person, but if you are having a very good communication skills, you can work as a scrum master, release engineer, release manager, which doesn't need any kind of in-depth coding required details. Whereas you should be familiar with all the terminologies of DevOps, but you are not expected to write the code. The roles which I just quoted, your release engineer, release manager, scrum master. So these kind of roles do not need any kind of hard code scripting or automations, right? So based upon your skill set, you can go for any options. Now in day-to-day -day roles, what are the roles and responsibilities of a DevOps engineer, depending upon your role? Are you a technical guy? Then you will be writing the automation scripts. You will be automating the stuff. If you are a person who is test engineer, you will be writing the test cases or test suits. If you are a documentation background, you will be writing the documentation stuff. If you are from training and development who actually train people, then you can be a member of l and group learning and development who will be providing training within the organization on these roles or in on these technologies right and then if you are working on some kind of release processes you will be writing the release plans and all this stuff so based upon your role you will be playing all these roles in the company in the respective team so that was a very quick overview about DevOps, its role and responsibilities, the scope in the market, how you can grow your career as a DevOps engineer. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee. And it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job. 